Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys in California. Before I begin, I give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening, gives us more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. <clears throat> Brethren, as we get more understanding, as the Most High opens up our minds to the depth of the deception that the world has pulled over our eyes and many of the other inhabitants on the earth, we're going to easily be able to see the trickery and the buffoonery of these other nations. We're going to easily see now how these other nations, especially a lot of these relig religious organizations, have taken our information, spread it to other people and attributed you know, this information to other people, and have erased us out of history. But you're also going to see how now the, the Father is calling us back calling us back to being a great people. He's not going to allow them to continue to take the blessings that he gave to us and have them attributed to themselves. The other nations are being exposed. And you're going to see a prime example of that today. Uh, about four or five days ago, ago, I did a video talking about the Druids, and how on their clothing they had a harp insignia, and that they were like magicians, and they could work with the harp to deal with spiritual things inside of your body, as well as physical, I'm sure, ailments also. They could, they could deal with that through music, through sound. Now, we understand that the other nations were not allowed to come to our lands. So we know that when the Romans finally went in, you know, and took over. They were seeing things that they had never seen before. Just like when they came over to the, to the New Lands, over here to the Americas. And it was like they were in awe because there were so many things that they were seeing here that they had never seen before, never been exposed to before. They also got exposed to our writings. But, of course, they said we didn't have any. How convenient so that they could take it for themselves and say that it was theirs. Like I said, the trickery and all the stuff they've done, like I said, it's, it's, now it's, it's coming out. And one, the people who have been stuck only following the books that they've approved and the information they've approved, now you understand how that's all, they're all working together. Because as long as you, if you stay in their little playground area right there, you're never, they're all, you're always going to get them as being the ones on top. You're always going to, if you're playing in their little playground right there, then they're always going to have the Greeks and the Romans are the ones who come up with everything. But the originators of all this information, you're never going to hear about. That's how they set up this whole society. And it's going to be very easy to see. So, like I said, about four or five days ago, I did this video on, and I'll leave it in the description box. You can go back and take a look at it, um, about how, you know, you talk about the harp and the positive effects that the harp has on people, physically and, and, and spiritually. Talk about in Samuel and, and uh, the book of uh, well David and the book of Samuel and how he helped Saul with the demon that was tormenting him and how he had a physical uh, refreshment of his body from hearing the harp. But see, when when they when they the other nations got their their hands on our information, I mean this is great information. Look at this, but we can't attribute it to the Druids. We can't attribute it to these Israelites, the Church of Aisa. We need to we need to make sure that they think it's our people that did this. So that's what you're going to get. So this morning I woke up and this video popped up on my feed. Heart music drives away demons and can bring healing. That was this morning. I was like, ain't this a, you know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, perfect. What, what kind of timing, right? So you know, I checked out the video. The video's good. Got it. Got a lot of good information. 
a lot of great information about the harp and and the um, and the positive effects it has on your physical body, um, physical healing, and uh, he talks about the uh, spiritual aspects of it with Saul as well. I'm gonna leave this uh, video in the description box too. Check it out. But see, the thing is now, where are you guys getting this information from? See, they were like, and I love it now. You can hear like, oh, in Jewish tradition, you're going to hear this. In Jewish tradition, this is what they did. In Jewish tradition, they did this. Doesn't Jewish sound a lot like Druid? Doesn't the word Jewish kind of sound a lot like Druid? In Druid tradition, in Jewish tradition, kind of sounds like the same thing. See, this has been the great deception that's been taken over for, you know, it pulled the, the wool and pulled over everyone's eyes. They're not telling you exactly where they're getting all this information from. That's been like a the huge thing is taking our information and attributing to the to their people. And, and as long as you stay in their little courtyard, their little playground, you'll never figure out the fact that they got all this information from the Church of Aisa, from the Israelites, from the chosen people of the Most High. And these people had these on these islands and these lands way before the Romans and the Greeks ever stepped foot on these on these lands. So therefore, these lands, you cannot take this information and say it's, it's for people. It came from people who barely showed up thousands of years later. So you get the rest of the here. Uh, what is it? Heart music drives away demons and can bring healing. Perry Stone. I, I suggest checking it out. It says medical research has proven the sounds from a heart can bring healing. Learn more here. Okay, so you can check that out as well. Good information, but like I said, now we're to the point where, hey, you guys are bringing all this great information. Great. Where are you getting it from? Who were the originators of this information? See, our people went from having an illustrious history to having no history at all. All based off, and that was all based off of our oppressors, the ones who came over and took us over. They're the ones that, you know, we don't know anything about our history before them. But all of a sudden, these people didn't have all this information before, until they came to these lands. And all of a sudden they just became super duper smart and their history just became so enriched. See, the father now is not allowing them to continue with the deception. He's not allowing them to continue with the lies. You're not going to keep on using the, you know, the blessing that he gave to his people and attribute it to your people. Those days are over with. So like I said, now I understand more, like, go get that information, read it, but know where it came from. Know who are the originators of this information are. That's what we're working at now. Yeah, hey, we're going to read the books. We're going to get the information, but where are you getting it from? Because th these, uh, these concepts are thousands of years old. You weren't even around. When, you know, these, these people who were doing these things, the Druids, they were around and they were, you know, holy, separate from others. This information has been passed down from Adam all the way down to certain posterity, to certain bloodlines. And see, that's why in the churches it's so important to, you know, get rid of bloodlines. Bloodlines don't matter anymore. We're all the same. We're all equal. God's not dealing with just one group of people. He's dealing with all of us. That's all part of the deception. Most High is dealing with one group of people. And if you want to, you know, be able to follow our power, you're going to have to come correct and follow his people. I did uh, bring up one of the pages from the Irish book of the uh, was it Irish wisdom, just so you can see what they're talking about right there. You know where this information originated from. See, it was much further than the so-called ish people. This is going way back. Okay, Irish wisdom. The word picked means a musician and is a camouflage word for a druid priest or magician, one who understands sacred magic or the occult spiritual forces, okay, locked up within the human body. The body is called the lair of Apollo. And of course, they throw the Apollo, they're throwing their, their words in there, okay? And he who understands that instrument is therefore a picked or musician because of certain nerve centers or ganglia through which the spiritual forces of force energizes. This is why the harp is an insignia of the ancient Irish and secretly alludes to Ireland's distinction and preeminence as the homeland 
of the Magian priesthood. So see, this information goes much further back than Ish. They're getting it from the Druid priests. They're getting it from their writings. They're getting it from their history. And see, that's now when they say things, now we got to really got to think, where do they get this information from? Where is it coming from? Because they're going to attribute it to Romans, Greeks, or Ish, or the Egyptians. And we're going to get into that as well. They got, they, you know, they, they're always trying to give it to a certain group of people, but never to the originators, never to the ones that the Most High says he gave it to. The Most High has been dealing with one group of people. It's all over the scriptures. Let's go really quick to uh, Psalms. 147. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt so with any other nation. The Most High has given, has given us all of these, all of this information. It's not just the Bible. He gave us magic. He gave us technology. He gave us science. He gave us astrology so we can read the stars. He gave us all this information. But see, the other nations have tried to make it say, oh, he only gave, he gave you guys the Bible and we're going to give you the Bible. This is the Bible that he gave you. I know he made a, a covenant with you, but we're going to say that these are the only books that he gave you. And most of our people are going to be like, okay, all right, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because they don't think for themselves. The Most High gave us way more information. Gave us the, uh, you know, the, uh, Ability to build things. Gave Solomon control over the demons in order to help make structures, build temples. This is a lot of information that has been hidden from the world. Our history has been taken from us and given to others. So they can make videos and they can talk about things and attribute this information to someone else. But all the while, they're raising up their own people because all of the people they keep, you know, they keep giving it information to or they're attributing it to look like them. So it doesn't matter if they attribute it to, you know, white Romans, white Greeks, white looking so-called, you know, chosen people. They still get to they get to raise up, you know, themselves as being on top. And us as Negroes and so-called black people are at the bottom all the time. We have no history. We were nothing but slaves. So that now when the Most High starts raising his people back up, the ones that he's chosen to lead, the vast majority of the world will be like trying to just, you know, discredit them or just ignore them altogether. Because, you know, you guys don't really have a history. You guys are nothing but slaves. You've been nothing but slaves this whole time. We were destroyed by lack of knowledge, and now the rest of the world is being destroyed by a lack of knowledge. The court curses that we had of losing our knowledge understanding is now falling on you. Most High has you guys in a, in a trick bag, has you in a very difficult position, because now the people that you hate are the ones you're going to have to follow. You say you love the Lord and you love God. Well, you love him any way that he sets these things up. You love him no matter what he does. If he sets up a people that you have been taught to hate, and if that's the people that you need to follow in order to follow the Most High, he's going to see if you really are about it. So I just found that to be amazing. But like I said, but that's what the Most High shows you, that they've always watched us. They've always wanted to be us. They had their opportunity to take our information and attribute it to themselves. And they're still doing it all the way until today. But the Most High is not going to let that continue. He's raising us up to expose the liars and the people who have been taking our information and attributed it to others, attributed it to themselves, and raising up their own, you know, raising themselves up. Those days are over with. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. 
Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge it. Yahweh Shai. Shalom. 